Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mouse key skill video on finding the circumference of a full circle given its diameter. Now just as a reminder, the diameter of a circle is a distance from one end of the circle to the other passing through the centre. So that whole distance there, that whole length is known as the diameter. And the circumference is basically the perimeter of the circle. And in a previous video, we saw how we could find the circumference of a circle if we knew the radius. And the circumference of a circle was equal to 2 multiplied by special number pi, which I'll remind you of in a second, multiplied by the radius of the circle. And remember that the radius of the circle was just from here to here. That was the radius. But there's a second formula for the circumference of a circle. Notice that two lots the radius would be the diameter. So I can replace this two and the radius, the two lots of the radius, with just d for diameter. So an alternative formula is pi multiplied by the diameter, d. And in fact, that's what the definition of this special number pi is. It's basically saying that the circumference of the circle is pi times bigger than the diameter of the circle. Now, if you took this diameter of the circle, so it's roughly this length here, can you see? That length here is roughly that. You might wonder, how many times can you go from here to here around the circle before you get back to the start? And it's just a bit more than three. In fact, it's 3.14, 152, etc. The digits go on forever. And, that, and that's a special number known as pi. It's a Greek letter. So if we use this second formula here on the number that we've got, the circumference of the circle is equal to pi, and you get pi in your calculator by pressing shift usually, depending on your calculator, and you can see this golden pi here, just above this key here, and you should see the pi on your display, and then it's multiplied by the diameter. Remember when you have things next to each other in algebra, it means you multiply them together. So you multiply by the diameter of 20, and if you do that, multiply by 20, that gives you 20 pi, confusingly. But we maybe want it as a decimal, so we could write the answer as 20 pi if it wants the answer in exact form. Or you can press the SD key to convert it to a decimal, and we get 62.8 centimetres, that's the unit there, to three significant figures. And that's the final answer.